for the most part. I know mine's not done, but for all intents and purposes, we'll pretend that it is. Um, and I'm going to move on and show you how to do the grid uh, inside your circle. So the first step is to, we're going to sort of guesstimate, it doesn't have to be exact, but find where you feel like the middle point of your circle would be. And then straight up from that, you're going to make a mark and straight down just a light mark. And again, these marks are going to want to erase later. Let's see if I can zoom in on this. Um, there we go. All right, I'll just hold it up. So you see mark here and a mark here, and you're going to do the same thing on the sides. So mark in here and here. And if you want, you can go ahead and do that on all of your circles. Like I said, it doesn't have to be exact. And does it not also have to line up with um, the grid behind it? So don't worry about if it doesn't match up there. That's fine. OK. So once we've done that, what we're going to do is start by making a curved line to attach those two points. Now, the one thing I want you to be aware of is that when you're making that line, if you notice, as I'm not actually drawing it here, but you're following the same curve as the outside of the circle. Okay, so it's that same kind of curve, you're just making it a smaller curve. All right, so I'm going to just very lightly make my curve like that. Okay, and again, always draw it light till you get it right. So I'm going to do that one and then between these two points if it helps try to find the middle there. Let me okay and now I've got the middle there. What you want to do now is following the same curve lightly go to that point touch it's kind of like a connect the dots with a curved line okay and around. I do the same thing over here. It's almost like we're dividing it into quarters. So let me show you that there. That's the middle point. And then I put two dots, one quarter, one quarter, one quarter. OK, so there's four points, only three sections. OK. And we're leaving out the middle one. You're just going to leave blank, and you're making that curved line to that point and down. And you're making the point, all those lines that you're making are going to those two original dots that you first made. And following that curve, go up to that point and following it around. And remember, it should be curved. Right? You're not making straight lines up and down. Okay? It should be curved just like the outside of that circle. Okay? We'll do that for all three of these. Um, I'll give you some time to do that. I'll pause this. And then what we'll do next is the same exact thing but going to the sides of the circle. Okay, so now that you've got that done in all these circles, we're going to go to the side. So I want to go ahead and erase your sort of the points that you made here across the middle. Try not to get you confused. Here's your middle point again. And then you're doing kind of the same thing where you want to break the space into thirds by making four points. So one, two, or if it's easier, Find the middle between this point and this point, which is about right there. Hold that up so you can see that. So between this middle of the circle and this point here, I find the middle. Then I divide the middle in half on each side. Those are the points that you're going to use. So right here and about right here, erase the one in the middle. Okay, so now I've got this one and this one. And again, I'm going to erase that other point so I don't get confused. If 
that a little bit darker so you can see. Okay. So you've got, you should have one, two, three, four, five points across the middle. Seven if you're counting the outside. Okay. And then erase the one in the very middle, the center of your circle, and you're doing the same thing. So starting from the top here where you made your mark, you're making a curved line following that same curve of the outside of the circle, but touching your first dot here. Does everybody see where I'm pointing? So we're going to curve it around to here and to here. That would be your first line. Hold it up so you can see. Okay. Then you're doing the same thing for the second dot and around. Like that. Just the same way we did before, we're just going in the opposite direction. And I always flip my paper. You know, you can, if it feels awkward to you, anything that you're doing, I think it's easier with, since I'm right handed, is to always make my curves this way instead of this way. So I just flip my paper upside down to make that more comfortable for me. So if that feels weird to you, feel free to flip your paper upside down too. Okay. And now we've got the checkerboard on the middle of our circle. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and do that for your other two circles as well. I will also pause it here and give you a chance to catch up with that. Uh, in fact, actually, I'll stop it so I can complete mine. And then when we start back again the next video, I'll show you how to mark it off before you start coloring in your checkerboard.